This is the final chapter of the steel hull modeling. In this video, we look at different types of nodes and supports and complete our structural analysis model. First, let's look at different node types. Find the list of all available node types by double-clicking on a node. In the Categories area, you can change the respective node type. In addition to Standard and on Member, there is the option to set nodes between two points or between two nodes. These functions are useful when you would like to quickly insert a node at a specific location between two known points. The online node mainly refers to surfaces and allows you to insert nodes on lines such as the edges of a plate. In the options area, you can add supports and FE mesh refinements to the selected node by selecting the corresponding checkboxes and then defining the properties in the new tab. We close the Edit Node dialog box and add the supports of our steel hall. To do this, we click the Assign Nodal Support button. In the new dialog box, we can enter the nodes manually in the node number area or click the symbol on the right of the structural model. Below you can find a list with the most common nodal supports and the bitmap of the currently selected support type in the window on the right. We can use the symbol with the yellow star to create a new nodal support. The New Nodal Support dialog box is structured similarly to all dialog boxes for creating new elements in RFEM. The list of available nodal supports is on the left, the properties and additional options in the middle, and the help display or bitmap on the right. In the Support Conditions area, you can find quick access to various support types as well as lists with nonlinearities. Quick Tip Nonlinear supports differ in color from linear supports. We would like to have hinged supports for our steel hall. They are already included in the list on the left, so we do not have to define any new nodal supports. We close the dialog box and select, Hinged, from the list. Now we rotate the hall so that we can simply drag a selection window over all the column bases at the same time. By right-clicking on any nodal support, we can adjust the display size of all nodal supports using the slider in the shortcut menu. Our 3D hall is completely modeled now. Next, I'll show you how to use visibilities to work more efficiently in RFEM. In the Views Navigator, we can display and hide the desired elements on the structural analysis model. This makes it easier for us to work with large structural models. So we expand members by section in the Visibilities area. We can display the desired sections and hide all the others. By right-clicking in the work window, we can completely hide elements in the background. With the help of the visibilities, we can select, edit or delete the desired elements at the same time. We can display the entire model again by deactivating the visibilities. Now you know how to model an entire beam structure in RFEM 6. Try to go through the individual steps again to achieve the best learning effect. The next video continues with load cases and design situations. Till next time.